Anusha Sakui is an entertainment industry reporter with the Los Angeles Times. She joins us now live to discuss the new developments. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on. So the latest right now, obviously, is that Alec Baldwin is, respons is responding to this, but the settlement is for a civil case. There's still criminal charges possibly pending, right? Exactly. You know, just last week we uh, got word that um, the Santa Fe District Attorney may bring charges for up to four people, including Baldwin, she said in a letter to the financial board uh, of that local region. And so they are already planning for something. They just haven't confirmed anything yet. This happened October 21st of last year. Why are they taking so long, you think, to, to come up with these charges? It's a good question. And, you know, lawyers I've spoken to have said that, you know, obviously you would expect uh, a prosecutor to want to move fast. But there's, it's complicated. There's some big people involved, like Alan Baldwin. It's had global attention. And it's one thing that the DA has said in some of her communication is that it's a small office. So she's got openings free. And so they needed to hire a special prosecutor, PR people. But we'll see, yeah, if they're going to bring charges. Yeah, Alec Baldwin has consistently said that authorities have told him that charges are unlikely in this case, but who knows at this point? Well, she specifically mentions him. She doesn't mention anyone else. Again, you know, his lawyers, of course, are very keen to say that he is not, you know, she hasn't filed any charges yet and that maybe it's too soon to say anything. And he's denied wrongdoing, as have the Rust production. Um, so we'll wait and see. But she did highlight him um, as being one of the potential targets. And that's why she needed funding for this for her case. A part of this civil case settlement is that the film production will resume in January. And we don't know anything about any monies being rewarded at this point? No, they're keeping very tight-lipped around the settlement. There's no details except for um, that the filming will resume, that Matthew Hutchins, the widow of Helena Hutchins, the cinematographer who died, he will have an executive producer credit. Now, typically, um, you know, you, you would expect some kind of financial um, award as part of a, a settlement like this, but we don't know the details of it. And Matthew Hutchins has consistently been saying that this is all being done for their son, you know, any type of money or anything else that would go would be for him. It's all in his name. Yeah, I mean, we, we again, don't know how it's going to be passed, but, um, you know, it, it, earlier this year, Matthew Hutchins was quite angry about um, how uh, Alec Baldwin had, you know, su suggested that he wasn't culpable in any way. And so now he seems he's giving a more conciliatory tone, um, obviously now wanting to work with Baldwin to get this movie done all for the best, uh, you know, for his wife and for his family. You know, if he'll be executive producer, maybe, we don't know, but maybe they'll have access to royalties and some yeah. control over how the film is completed. You have to wonder how they're all going to work together after this happened. Well, it's a good question. And also, you know, will they be, will, will if charges come, will that impact the settlement right. at all? Right, right. Anusha, thank you so much for joining us and giving us that insight. My pleasure. Take care. Well, coming up, the Chicago Marathon returns.